So you may remember in July this year when Lucky Lekwati's fast food joint was looted in the unrest in parts of the country. Well, he's trying to rebuild his shop and this time around he's working with another name that might be familiar to you, Willard Katsande, formerly with Kaza Chiefs, who now has a construction company. Yeah, we're here uh, in South uh, Mall. We are here to, to, to help uh, Mr. Lekile Kwati. Uh, you know, he's doing a great job uh, with bringing recruitment to people because uh, this, this is the brand which is growing. So based on what happened in, in July uh, with the, the looting in Clifton, we decided as Katsande Partners, since we're also into construction, to help in, in any way we can. That's why we are here to try to help rebuild uh, his Krutman, his Krutman shop here in South Vermont. Lekwati says Katsande was one of the first to lend a helping hand when his store was destroyed. After the, the looting, you know, he saw the, the account and, you know, it's one of the legends who donated to um, Krutman account, you know, um, a rebuilding account. And after that, he said to us, Whenever, whenever we start or we want to start, you know, he'll come, he'll come to give, you know, um, to give hand. And today is here. He's doing the pumbling, everything. And you know what? I salute the legend, a living legend. I, I, I call him a living legend. And, you know, thanks to him. And hope, you know, other players and legends, they, they, you know, they see. And uh, I think for me and, 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 and him, it's, it's a, a motivation to other players. That you know, yes, inside the field, we we we, we call it we call we call ourselves enemies, but out of the field, you know, we are friends. Realizing that Lekwati will need more than just a donation, they reached an agreement, and Katsande got down to work. It's gonna be the the, the plumbing, and there is the potato peeler, and the fed trap is gonna be there, and here, obviously, our extraction is gonna be here covering four, 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 four meters and it's going to go via the roof and you can see this, these pipes are for, for, for gas, gas installation is going to come from outside uh, yeah, so that you know, you know when you are, you're cooking you, you really need a little bit of nice fire and this is going to be the geyser but we're going to put it a little bit inside the, the, the ceiling so that it's going to be nice and clean here. Yeah. Two footballers with no experience in running a restaurant needed some help from someone who does. You know, it's very exciting what we're creating. Um, I've been working with a few of the soccer legends in South Africa doing various philanthropy projects, working on the different foundations with guys like Aaron Makwena, Taboko Makwena, uh, Wei Justa, Linda Antambo. Um, and through interaction with all of these players, I've realized that they have so much to give back. Um, they have so much expertise, they have so much knowledge, they have so much leadership skills, all learned through football. And these same qualities are what it takes to run a successful business. And myself and Lucky have the ethos that we want to help grow our local community. We want to empower, um, especially soccer players, artists, give them the platform to use the expertise and skills that they've got in the business arena. Lekhwati and Katsande faced each other on many occasions in the Soweto derby, but enemies on the field have now turned into partners in the boardroom. I used to protect my, my players, especially youngsters. You know, whenever he want to fight a youngster, I'll go there and say, no, brother, you can't do that, you know. And the, 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 the thing about him, he used to respect me. I'll go and talk to him and listen to me, you know. Even after the game, he'll come to me and, and say, sorry. That's what I'm saying, you know, inside the field, you'll fight. After the game, we are brothers. Off the field, we are brothers. Today we are here, you know, um, chilling together, talking about the hot man. Sometimes, you know, we, ha we, we have like um, lunch, breakfast together, and, you know, which is good. And have a crucial financial advice for those at the peak of their careers. The advice I can give to the young footballers who are still want to make it in professional football, and those who are even in professional football, even the experienced one in professional football, Try something, do something, find where your passion is. Try to, to start this for fun. You're gonna see the outcome and try to meet the, the uh, try to make the end meet because you never know in football. Football have got many injuries that happened and okay if you even if you play, you're not gonna play until you're fifty something. Yes, I'm the twelve years old, but I still have more than the twelve years to live after football. So basically I'm still young.
But in terms of football, I'm, I'm old. Picking up the pieces is not easy after a setback. But these two footballers have proven that there is power in unity, even if you are former rivals. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Benjamin Leshoro in Johannesburg.